Hey y'all, curious on how I work less and make more money? Then keep watching. Nick pick thrift, Nick pick thrift, Nick pick thrift. Hey y'all, if you're new here, well welcome. My name is Nikki, better known as Nick pick thrift here in the reselling community. We just love to talk all things here, all things especially about reselling and positive vibes. Okay, y'all, let's get right into it, okay? Just let me enlighten you about a few things that I don't, yes, that's right, I said don't do in my reselling business anymore and how I'm able to still make more money. If you didn't watch my last video, I'll link it up right here and also down in the description. Be sure that you go catch that video after you watch this one. There's some pretty interesting facts the Filipino culture and land. It's so beautiful, y'all. With me getting all the small talk out of the way, let me just tell you that outsourcing for the things that you absolutely dread or hate doing for your business has been such a relief to me. For example, I absolutely hate listing. I think that it becomes so tedious and it's one of the things that you have to do in order to succeed. My mind is already overwhelmed enough with things that that's one of the things that I could really do without, but I can't because you got to list to make money. And I know the consequences of not listing. It's not making any money. And still, what did I do? I quit listing as much, and then had a pity party for myself when the sales decreased severely. I just knew y'all, you know, that feeling when you get in the pit of your stomach and it's like a knot in your stomach and you know there's just something you can do different. Just that one thing. I'm not talking about gas. I'm talking about that anxiety. One of my great, great friends that I have. I knew that it was either getting down to getting a nine to five or giving it one more shot and seeing about a virtual assistant. I did that one thing, y'all. That very one thing that, you know, tends to scare the crap out of people. I gave up control. And guess what? It was the best decision I could have made for my business. I can't say that I'll have the same needs in a year down the road, but I could always create new tasks for her. The tasks that my virtual assistant, my VA does for me every day that I really, really, really needed, mostly up here mentally. And the other benefit of that was, you know, getting my time back. Some of my time. A little scenario on how a typical day, you know, what she does for me. Sometimes I usually wake up and the first task that I perform for my business, I just work account and I look to see if I've had any offers while I was sleeping or if I had any sales, you know, full price sales or any sales thereof or any questions or anything like that. And I get done with that. I then go into my uh, eBay account and I send out my offer to likers if I've had, if I've had any which normally have about four overnight. I then proceed back over to Poshmark and I go into my saved drafts from where I saved pictures the night before and I make them go live because she's done the listing. So then I leave my house and I go ship my items at my storefist. That's what we're gonna call my storage office. My storefist, that's right. Store so I go to my storefist, I then proceed to my shipping labels, pull my items, uh, get them ready, get them ready to ship. After I've packaged them all up, I then see if I have any tasks that I need to do, such as putting away the inventory from the night before, or just going, making sure everything's clean, you know, just doing the little things that need to be done in office. Storefist packages and I take them to where I drop my mail off. I drop it off of a mail carrying center. It's a locally, it's a local small business and it's locally owned. So pretty much my day is I usually come home and do a, do a few tasks and then around six o'clock PM, I usually start to take pictures for my listings and I save those drafts. And if you don't know how to do that, what you do is you go in to work on the, on the desktop app. You go into sell on Poshmark, you act like you're going to create a listing. I mean, 
essentially. You know, you just go in there and act like you're creating the listing. And then you, so I take the picture, I go down, I go to other information, and I put the inventory number, I put how much I paid for the item, and if it's consignment or if it's me. I back out of that, I press back, and it comes up with two options. You can either save as a draft, or you can discard changes. And so I always press save as draft and it saves it. So then what my VA, and I just keep taking the pictures. And then what my VA does, my virtual assistant, Jacqueline, she comes in around 7.30 usually. It's morning time, her time. And she proceeds to go into my sa the, dra the drafts that I had saved and proceeds to run comps on the item and creates a really good descriptive title. And she prices it. She makes all the tags for it. She does the color, you know, everything in that listing that needs to be done. She then saves it back as a draft. I go in the next morning and I make them go live after I check the information. She then, after she does around, she does around anywhere from eight to 15 to 17 a, a night for me, just depending on how many pictures I took. She'll then start to cross post over to eBay. And she, she gets like, between five to eight done on eBay. She was very proactive. Like she taught herself eBay. She wanted, she was very willing to learn. And so I didn't have the time to make her a video and she watched videos on YouTube and she essentially learned it her by herself. You know, I just had to go in and tell her, you know, the item specifics, what to do, you know, how much she had to fill out. And she fills out everything to her best of her ability. I fill in the item specifics that she didn't because she does, she doesn't know. And you know, and I need to make her a video on, the right way to do it and I just ordered a scale right now I don't put the weight in there she marks it when she saves that as a draft she puts it under medium L and one pound and eight ounces so I just know to go in there and change it I then go into my eBay drafts and in the morning times after I do my Poshmark and I then make those listings go live after I fill in all the specifics that I need to fill in I hope I'm keeping you guys here she cross posts as many as she can to make her hours for the day. Like if I'm late getting her listings, she'll go ahead and start to cross post over to eBay different items. So she's very proactive. Like she's very, very proactive, which is very, it's, it's nice. It's nice. Me, I've worked in the man, you know, I've been in management before and I just know how nice it is for people to be proactive. She's very willing and eager to learn new things. Send her a video that I want her to watch. She will watch it. In the future, I do plan on giving her more tasks because the more she lists the, and gets familiar with the things that she's doing, the quicker she'll be. And eventually I wanna give her my spreadsheet to do. Um, it'd be more beneficial for me for her to do it, <laughs> basically. So, I mean, it's, it's really short and sweet, guys. I mean, you can outsource any of the things that you necessarily don't have to be present for, which the only thing really is taking photos. But it just all depends on how much control you're willing to give up. Do I worry about my VA doing anything to my Poshmark account because she goes directly into it? No. There's just too many precautions Poshmark has implemented for anybody to be able to do that. As for example, anytime that I change anything on my account, I get an email to my I get notice if whenever I transfer, if I change my bank account, I get notice that, you know, and I can go in there and stop it right away. So I don't worry. So that's about how simple it is, guys. I know it sounds, you know, people like freak out about hiring a VA, but it just how I set, stated it, that's how easy it is. It's so easy. And it, you're, it's, my business has started streamlining in miraculous ways. Like, it gives me a lot more time to be able to think clearly instead of just things going through my head and me always being on the go, go, go. I get to sit down and think about things about my business that is just not spur of the moment and that are the changes that I'm implementing are definitely starting to work. So the next video you guys will see will be a what sold and I'm looking forward to it guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and one more thing, you're special. Same time, same place, same pretty pretty little face. Bye, y'all.